Hi guys, this is Nupsos playing Transport Fever. And after the American map, uh, American campaign, it's time to go into the European campaign. Uh, seven missions, five medals to win in each mission. The goal, as it was before, is to earn every single medal available in the missions. So let's see what the European campaign is about. The old continent is constantly yielding great new inventions. Be part of this rapid technological progress and found numerous thriving transport companies in Europe. The first mission. The railroad is currently conquering all of Europe. Right in the middle is a young Alpine Republic where a mighty mountain massif blocks the way to the sunny south. The rocky Colossus can only be crossed with great difficulty. Time for a bold undertaking, crossing the Alps from north to south. A railroad tunnel through the Swiss Alps will make our young nation the most important route from the North Sea to the Mediterranean. Yeah, and uh, quite the nice place to start a European campaign uh, by building tunnels through the Swiss Alps. Um, the Gotthard Tunnel, the Gotthard Line is one of the most famous train lines in, in Switzerland. So, five medals to win. Let's see what the mission, how the play, how the mission plays out. It is August in the year 1872, and the construction of the Gothard Tunnel can begin. No idea why we of all people have been awarded this monster project. Could it be that we are the only Swiss company that applied? Or was our bid so ridiculously low that no competitor could match it? The fact is we have eight years and a very tight budget to build the longest tunnel in the world. And we've never built a tunnel before. So, let's get started. Yeah. And as I said, if you're not sure what to do, it's recommended to first play the tutorial. Actually, this is probably the best map or campaign map to play after the tutorials, if you're new to the game, because it uh, gives you some good hints on how to set, set things up. Um, it may not be so easy to win if you only just came into the game after a tutorial, but. Uh, but it's definitely possible. Um, let's see what the five medals are. Terrific tunnel, make the Federal Council happy and complete the tunnel on time before 1885. So we only have about 13 years to do the entire project. Contractual compliance, don't deviate too much from the ne negotiated terms and get by without additional funding. That means that unlike the other maps in the campaigns uh, you can take out additional loans but it will make you fail this particular medal so we have to get by with this five million dollar loan we start with um, um, machinist rely on the latest mining technology that's a mission that will come up mid in the middle of the mission. Humanitarian, don't beat down any workers. That's also something that will come out later. Rock count, find the legendary mountain crystal. That's an easy side quest that will also be in the middle. Uh, and if we look at the map, it's a very abstract depiction of Switzerland. Uh, we're actually looking from the north to the south. So we have Lausanne, we have Altdorf. And on the Italian side, we have Bellinzona. Uh, uh, in here, we have a freight train station already put in. We have the excavation site and the truck stop. And down here, we have a tools factory. Uh, a pretty easy one that doesn't need, need any resources to, to produce. And we also have the last bit of the track from Altdorf coming up there. And we also have here a, a dub site for the stone and a, a, a train depot. As you can see here, the train track all the way to Lucerne hasn't been finished either. 
let's get this mission started. Three railroad lines already cross the Alps, but once our bold project is complete, the Gothard Railway will be the fastest, most direct connection between North and South. The hard niece of the Gothard Massif towers before us. We have enough workers, ragged but strong Italians, who have hired themselves out for a pittance. But we aren't going to dig our way through the mountain with our bare hands. We have to transport the necessary equipment to the construction site at the northern portal. Deliver the first tools to the construction site. And then it gives me three pointers on how to do that. So we need to get tools up here. Apparently this one will require tools even though we're not taking the stone away in the beginning of the mission. Usually you have to complete uh, an entire supply chain before anything is put on your lines. Uh, so I need a truck stop down here. So for now, I have a line set up here to wait for full load in the tools factory and then just drive up here and top off. And the construction side at the moment only needs 20 tools per year. And the best horse cart I have can do 5 tools per load. Apparently it will take 14 minutes to go around. Um, and because the game is set up with uh, 12 minutes per year, 12 minutes real time corresponds to one calendar year, I would need to have four of these. Just about. That should make 20 units per year. Now the mountain is being hollowed out. Amazing how much rubble builds up. It is impossible to haul all of that away with horse-drawn carts. We need a proper rail line so that we can remove the gigantic amounts of excavated material from the construction site. Yeah, um... Connect out of south and out of north. So that's the excavation site and the dump site. And it's telling me to put in a train that can back and forth there. Uh, and he's saying it's impossible to follow all of that away with horse driving cars. It's not. Um, the thing is, if I have uh, horse drawn carts, taking tools up to the excavation side and running back empty, they are only just uh, scraping by and making me a little bit of money. And the same will go for the train. I'll go all the way from the dump side to the construction side empty and then go back on full load. So what I can do is to put in a secondary horse cart line from a tools factory down to the dump side. So the first set of horse carriages run full with tools one way and full with stone the other way. And then it's only the other half of the line that's running full of one way, empty the empty other way. Uh, so that would actually make it uh, slightly more profitable. Uh, so I'll defy his best suggestions and put in more house cards.
the construction site is producing two stone per tool I deliver. So I need to change the first of my lines. So it doesn't wait for tools because it has to run down twice as many times as it's running up, so to say. And it'll need to get double up on the weapons. And the other part of the stone line. We need enough wagons to get the same frequency. Still need to to close the gap in the train track. I'll do that in a moment because over here we have a quest. High up in the mountains, so it has been said here since time immemorial, there is a mountain crystal of unimaginable beauty. An old alpine goat herd supposedly knows the whole tale. Follow the blue to Altdorf. Another question mark. The old man says that he only knows the crystal from tales and legends, but his young granddaughter often wanders high up into the mountains with her goats. The girl scrambles through the rocks like a mountain goat. You can hardly keep up with her. From the clue. And up here in the mountain. Another question So mark. it's supposed to be around here somewhere. The girl shouted to us that a peculiar rock formation points toward the legendary mountain crystal before she nimbly climbed away. Turn over every stone in the rock formation, you will find the mountain crystal. Yeah, um, so if you only read the, the big print, you have a lot of rocks to demolish. But using the process in the top left corner of the task window, you can jump to the area. So I'll click here, zoom in, and this apparently is the place to search for the mountain crystal and that's how many of the of the uh, what you would say search search for loot quests in the in the campaign is, is constructed so go find the question marks and then click on the crosshairs in the task window so let's see what's under this rock Rocks. What a rare and wonderful specimen. The crystal glows with an unusual energy. Yeah. So that's the metal. Rock hound. That's how easy some metals are. Uh, yeah, I need to build some tracks. The second part of this mission, the rubble must go. Man and machine are not doing good work. The first few meters are already done. It's hot as hell inside the mountain, and the air is so thick you could cut it with a knife. Now all that rubble has to go, come out of the abyss, and fast. The investors are watching our progress with suspicion. So deliver to sto stone from the construction site to the stone mound. So that's what I already set in a, a horse line to do. Buy a freight train and auto train depot that you can transport stone, create a line for every tool you deliver the tunnel construction site produces stone, blah blah blah. So again it gives you a good pointer if you don't know how to complete the mission. If you look at our horse wagons, they're already taking stone down the mountain. So everything running as it's supposed to. The stone hasn't come down to the Thomas Factory yet. The first load seemed to come here. So unloaded here, gets loaded here. Uh -huh. 
doesn't seem to register that I'm taking away the stone because I'm doing it by horse card. I guess the counter is linked to the train station. Finally started counting. Ah. Okay, so things wrong here. Take sticking tools out here. Don't know quite why it's doing that. So I need to upgrade these trucks to only hold stone. And apparently the counter is set on the dub side. So I didn't need to put on train station here. <laughs> but that was also that was the backup plan to only have a train going from the excavation side down here. Day and night we dig, blast, dump, but we are still falling behind. We are blatantly behind schedule and have already exceeded the original budget by more than double. The federal council has even called an emergency session because of us. We urgently need more powerful drills that don't break constantly. We should build a workshop for that. That would speed up our project tremendously. Okay. Deliver tools to the workshop. So there. Now there is a machine factory outside Yusan. 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 Um. So what do we need to deliver? Tools. Are Since we already have two factory running, it should be a problem. So I'll probably need to put in a lot more, a lot more horse wagons later. So right now, right now I'm following the third horse wagon. That's taking the last, the last part of the quest for tools to lose out. Fantastic. The new drills are a blessing. Where earlier three machines would break down in just one day, today it's only one every three days. The Federal Council is very happy. Or, well, maybe not quite as upset. Thanks to the new drills, the Tunnel Construction site is producing more stone to deliver. Let's take a look. Uh, now each tool is converted into seven stone. So now I need to haul away 140 uh, stone per year, which means I need 28 wagons going every year. Oh, that's a lot.
up at the excavation site, it seems to be running smoothly. Down here at the tools factory, it's running smooth. And that's uh let's call it the power of the the power of the truck. Um when you use trucks compared to tr trains, uh, you get a very high frequency, so everything can run very efficient. But because uh, a truck or a horse cart has very little capacity and a very slow loading speed, it can't handle huge amounts of the resources per year, where the train can be really hauling hundreds and hundreds of resources at once. Um, but in this case, we are only hauling 140 tops per year. That's uh, within the capacity of the truck line, horse cart line. If you look here, my tools for stone line. It says frequency of 23 seconds and a yearly profit of around 200, which is pretty nice for a truck line. Um, the stone line is just three seconds slower. Well, it's beginning to show here that there's 30 stone waiting. Another few horse cards should take care of that. So it's also really easy to balance truck lines. Uh, because of the high frequency, you can all just count it in seconds. Uh, where a train line could really have a frequency of once per year or something, and it's hard to coordinate it with, with the next uh, line down the supply chain. The workers live in pigsties, and they have to use their daily wage of 3 franc and 90 centimes to pay not only for their food, accommodation and equipment, but also for the oil for their lamps. At least they also get a liter of wine every day to get themselves lit, too. Apparently that isn't enough for them. They're blocking the entrance to the tunnel and will only clear the way once they receive one franc more per day. What to do? If we don't want to pay that out, we could hire the police from Uri to beat down the leaders. Or we could at least meet them halfway and provide better tunnel ventilation. Okay, so the options are here. Use violence. If you use violence, the speed of the tunnel construction site will be reduced by a third. So they're working slower. That doesn't seem to be a good idea when when we are trying to make a record, a little record, record time. Better tunnel ventilation will result in additional 100 units of stone having to go away. That also doesn't seem like a good idea, since that will increase the overall construction time by... Hmm... 40%? So, uh, if you pay the workers, there will be a monthly cost of 50,000 from now on. So let's look at our budget here. At the moment, we're making 800,000 a year, but we also have a running cost of 200,000. Basically, we are have a surplus of around 500,000 per year. Uh, so if we pay the workers, we have to pay around 600,000 more in running costs. So if we do that very long, we'll just go bankrupt. We won't have, have a profit anymore. Uh, so it's either violence or ventilation. Both uh, will make the construction slower. Um, but we have a battle here that uh, says don't beat down any workers, so we can't use violence. So, so realistically, there's only improved ventilation. And in the end, it doesn't uh, it doesn't cause so many problems because another hundred units is won't take long to haul away. We're already taking 250. We have the system in place, so we can easily handle that. So it'll be that improved ventilation. And everything's running again. And we got three medals now. So now it's only K 
keep the funding and get it done in time. game was released you couldn't uh, see inside tunnels but with a patch that was fixed. So now you can actually see the tunnel is getting longer and longer and longer. Which is a pretty nice detail. And this is the receiving end. It's just a tiny bit of track but that's where the tunnel will come out. Mostly because uh, the tools factory is not making enough tools. But that's because the machine factory is already full. Too many. Time has come. We've broken through. After all the stress, it's a miracle we didn't drop dead in the tunnel before the final cut. Now all we have to do is complete the rail line and our Gothard railway will be perfect. Yes, close the gaps between the highlighted track ends along the route. Complete the rail line from Lucerne to Venezuela. So there's a bit of track that needs to be put in here. And a long track that needs to be put in here. And now the excavation site doesn't produce anymore, which means that the first thing to do is to get rid of the two stone lines. So sell everything, get rid of them. So that will go. Let me earn a little bit of cash while I'm building. The rail line is finished. Now it is time to cover ourselves with the glory that is our due for this marvel. There's nothing standing in the way of the opening ceremony anymore. So let's get going and celebrate. So the first train from Lucerne to Bellinzona via Altdorf. My train with passenger coaches in the depot and soon it on the line that stops in Lucerne, Altdorf and Bellinzona. And it says I have to do it three times. Suitable signals are sent to other trains. So the well, there are no other trains. Just in the uh, what else? The time. Maybe we have five years. That's, that still doesn't mean I couldn't do it in a hurry. So it would be nice with a passing siding between outdoor and the sand and one somewhere between. Off and build it so not. If you 
going to wait for another train, you might as well do it by the beautiful lake. as well, so it also can be used as a signing. So here comes the first train in the Cotthard line. Just to tell you the first person view. The new axis between north and south is open. A masterpiece of engineering. Bravo! So, that's the first mission. Got outline. We still have about four years to spare. Um, and it actually triggered the ending of the mission a bit too early. Because that this was only the first of three trains that needed to go to Balanzona. But the way it triggered it just counted that I'd been to Balanzona and I had three trains on the same line. So, yeah. Um, that almost feels like a cheat. Um, didn't go over my budget, mainly because I didn't use uh, expensive trains uh, to haul away the stone. I just kept with cheaper trucks that they don't make that much money compared to the train but then again they don't cost so much to invest in and I needed to sell them off anyway. Machinists just to supply tools to the factory. Uh, don't use violence and distract the workers and find them So a nice uh, easy way into the game if uh, if you decided to start out with the European campaign. So, next week I'll be back with the second European mission. Um, and if you've been watching so far, remember to like, comment and subscribe. See you around.